Hey guys, just a quick little update, excuse my voice um, and the state of me, I am bed bound for the next, I don't even know how long, um, I had my operation yesterday, it went really really well, um, they found what they were looking for and they've managed to remove it, my, <laughs> my prescription and my coffee over there, um, yeah so I just thought I'd pop on and say thank you to everybody that wished me well, like I said it's gone really really well, they're really really pleased. And hopefully it is going to eliminate the pain. Oh God, what do I look like? I need to get out of bed. Not allowed. I got sent back. I got up of I got up and I went downstairs this morning and my other half was like, nope. Straight back up those stairs. You made them down. You can make it back up again. Back into bed. And I'm bored. I'm so bored. But I'm in so much pain that I don't really want to get out of bed. But I do. Because my crochet is downstairs. But downstairs is far away. <sighs> Very far away. I've got my coffee. Ooh, that's good, wasn't it? And I've got oh, don't drop them all. I've got some biscuits that my boss gave me for Christmas and told me to open early because she thought I'd need them. Um yeah, so I just like I said, ow. I just wanted to pop on and say hello. And um I might put some pictures in at the end of this. I have actually been doing things and making stuff. I'm in the middle of making a teddy bear at the minute. I don't have any photos of that though. And that's the thing I wanted to go and grab, but I might see if I can be bothered in a minute. My dad, my dad, my brother is coming to pick me up in a minute. He's down for a couple of days. Oh, the postman's knocking on the door. Hold on. Right. That was good, actually. That was my kids' school photos, and I wanted those for some Christmas presents. So, yay. And I grabbed my crochet while I was down there. That was effort. But anyway, I'm using... Oh, I'd have to label but this is really, really pretty, and I thought it just screamed teddy bear colours. And the pattern... Oh, hold on. Ow, 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 ow. I had a laparoscopy, in case anybody is wondering. So, um, they have burnt some endometriosis away, which is why sitting and walking at the minute really, really hurts. Um, I'm sorry about the angle. I have nothing to put you on. I'm not very well organised. Um, but yeah, the pattern is, a second, no, but Z, I'm watching Z at the minute, hi Z, um, so the, oh, 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 that's not helpful, oh, like so, <sighs> technology, okay, so it is Crafty Hanako Basic Teddy Bear Pattern, and the pattern itself, also hook size E, I have no idea what that is. I go with Mills, so someone please let me know. Um and it's done in the round and it's all single crochet. Um and it says that the finished thing should be about five nope, seven to nine inches tall. So what I've actually done is not listen to anything <laughs> because it's me and I wanted oh sorry, 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 a bigger bear. Um, so I'm using a 5.5, 5.5 millimeter hook. No idea if that's anything near an E. And what I've done is I have double stranded this. So I have done so far its head, its body, its muzzle. This is such a good angle. And, oh, if I can grab the, um, its arms. And when I was doing this, it seemed like a really, really good idea. And now I'm thinking, I don't think I have a sewing needle that is going to fit that through it. So that's going to be a bit of a challenge. But it'll be fine. We'll go with it. We'll sort it out. It'll be fine. So, yeah. So that's what I'm working on at the minute. Ouch. And like I said, I'm going to try and put some photos in the end of this. I have my lovely little anaesthetic wound. And I've scratched the top of my arm and I have no idea how. But whatever. I feel me itching. So anaesthetic has made me feel a little bit weird, doesn't it? I was a little bit loopy yesterday. And my parents very kindly picked me up from the hospital and took me back to theirs and picked my kids up. My daughter walked in and she's like, Mummy, you sound really weird. Because I did sound like I was doing some sort of frog impression yesterday. I had to have a nebulizer when I came round. Because I couldn't breathe. Um, so that was 
scary. I've never had one of those before. And then I had oxygen, like the little nose thingy as well, because they were a bit concerned about my breathing. Um, so today I throw <laughs> my poor throat because when they did the actual um, laparoscopy, they had to put a tube down my throat, so it's quite sore today. And I've got a bit of a cold anyway, which they knew before they did the surgery, and they said it was fine because I didn't have a temperature and I didn't have a cough or a sore throat at the time. Now my glands are up, and you can see, and. My throat is really sore, but it's done, and they managed to burn the endometriosis away. Um, and they said the reason that it was probably causing so much pain because it was right underneath my right ovary. So hopefully the pain should now, if not stop, at least lessen severely, and um, hopefully I will feel better in a couple of days, and be able to like get around a bit more. Can't drive at the minute. Obviously, I can barely walk down the stairs. But I'm just glad that it wasn't anything more sinister because I didn't want to tell anybody before I went in but I was really scared that they would find cancer and they didn't so that is fantastic. Very excited about that. I know I sound really really like monosyllabic and monotone but you're not feeling very well. I feel sorry for me. Okay, it's fine. No, it's not. But yeah, so um, this will probably be the last video I put up um, until after Christmas now. I am actually ridiculously organised because I did set myself the deadline of yesterday to get everything done. Um, this teddy bear is for my friend that's coming down, um, for her little girl who's just turned one. Um, and also like a little Christmas thing, I might put something, like a little octopus with it or something as well, I haven't decided yet, depending on where I have time to make it. But I'm not seeing her until 30th? When's that? Next Sunday? Sunday after? Next Sunday. Sunday after. I don't know. Ten days time. Where am I? Where are we? It's Thursday. Next a week on a week on Sunday. I've been signed off work for two weeks, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself. I'm gonna go absolutely stir crazy. In fact, if I feel better before the two weeks, I'll just go back because otherwise I won't know what to do with myself because it's me. Um and I have been on bed rest for 24 hours and I'm already fed up. <laughs> Not even 24 hours, less than that. I got back to my parents at about 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon. Yeah, so way less than that and I'm ready to... I don't even know what. I want to bake or something, but I don't think I'm allowed. I want to make scones. I want to make cheese scones. But again, I don't think I'm allowed. Boo. Oh well. Anyway, I'm going to go. Um, like I said, I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update um, and say thank you to everybody for all your well wishes. It was really, really kind. And I hope you'll have a fantastic Christmas and New Year if I don't see you beforehand. And hopefully next time I'm on camera, I will look a little bit more human and less ghost-like. Because at the minute I feel like I look transparent. Um, but yeah, so um, have a great Christmas and New Year. If that's what you celebrate, have a great Hanukkah. If you celebrate Hanukkah, if I'm not too late to wish you happy Hanukkah. Whatever holiday you celebrate, have a great holiday. Enjoy time with your kids and your family and just take care of each other and yourselves. Love you all. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.